exercise. Mr. Speaker, many Kenyans are wondering why the deputy president is uh, being impeached. And they are saying if he is to be impeached, him and the president should be impeached at the same time. Mr. Speaker, the articles in the Constitution, our Constitution has given the National Assembly and the Senate this mandate to do this exercise of checks and balances to our uh, public officers. And Mr. Speaker, uh, Article 145, which we use this afternoon even to determine whether to proceed or not, is very elaborate on how to the process of impeaching uh, the deputy president or the president. So, Mr. Speaker, we are here because the Senate actually has been on several occasions. Uh, we have brought deputy governors, governors, and now the deputy president. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, can they protect me from, uh, from this honorable speaker? Mr. Speaker, can you protect me from some noise from behind? Senator Fernando. So, Mr. Speaker, I was Just saying. Move to your seat, your normal seat. I was trying to say that. Mr. I was trying to say that, Mr. It, it Speaker. It may be lonely, but please stick there. Okay. Mr. Speaker, this house has. Mr. Speaker, this house has brought deputy governors, governors, and now the deputy president. Mr. Speaker, what we are doing is a constitutional mandate. And therefore, I will ask Kenyans that they should bear with the constitution. It is the constitution which has brought us where we are. I want to, I want to thank the parties that were here for the last two days. The parties representing the deputy president and the parties representing the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker. All these senators have been sitting here as judges for the last two days and nights. And Mr. Speaker, it is only that uh, this is a court, like a high court. Only that the judges in the high court or the, court, the courts do not discuss the cases that they handle, but they meet and discuss and then they make the decision, and then the decision is led by maybe the president of the court. But because now we make a decision to a vote, that is why, Mr. Speaker, we find ourselves here. And this evening, these jurists will make their decision in one or the other. And Mr. Speaker, what I would request Kenyans from today, whatever decision will be made to maintain peace, love, and unity, as was then envisaged since independence in 1963. Because, Mr. Speaker, where we are, a decision will be made by the Senate in one way or the other, either to impeach the deputy president or to uphold, or not to impeach, I mean not to impeach Mr. Speaker. And I want to talk to the people that represent the mayor community. I want to assure them that whatever decision their senator will make is for the best interest of the mayor people. And I want to assure them that their future will be bright if not more bright, Mr. Speaker. And what they need is service delivery, not individuals. Whatever decision that I'll make is for their best interest because they directed me to make some decisions. Some are soft decisions or hard decisions. But what they need at the end of the day, they will ask their senator for five years, what have you done for us? But I, as I finish, Mr. Speaker, I want to encourage all of us in a verse from the Bible, the Saronians, chapter 5, verse 18, which says that in every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. So whatever you do, thank God. Whatever happens to you, thank God, because we always should give thanks to God.